Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a lounge bar business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a lounge bar business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. For entrepreneurs who enjoy the combination of nightlife, business, and hospitality, owning a lounge or nightclub is a dream come true. Aside from the usual business startup steps, opening a lounge requires additional activities for an exciting grand opening. Here are a few things to think about before opening your lounge. Step 1. Choose a business location. Choose a location based on the type of business and the type of customers you want to attract. Check the zoning regulations in your jurisdiction to see if the area allows lounges, nightclubs, or establishments that serve alcoholic beverages. Opening a lounge in an established entertainment district may attract clients who migrate from nightclubs to lounges. Opening a lounge near a business district may appeal to after-work clients from nearby workplaces or business travelers. Step 2. Obtaining the necessary licenses and permits. Obtain the necessary business and occupational licenses from the appropriate state, county, or municipal government agencies. Check the time frame for obtaining a liquor license. Some lounge and nightclub operators have had to postpone their grand opening due to a lack of a liquor license. Local politics may influence whether your local government expedites the processing of your application. Step 3. Budget for startup costs. Based on current research, make your projections and expenditures. Fees for establishing the business structure and organization, fees for an attorney, accountant, or business advisor, money for a lease and security deposit, and starting inventory costs and grand opening expenses are all part of the startup costs. If you want to raise funds, create a business plan that will appeal to investors interested in the entertainment, restaurant, or food and beverage industries. Step 4. Give your lounge a theme. Create a theme for your living room. Design cocktail menus, drink specials, wine collections, and non-alcoholic drinks with resources and talent from the food and beverage industry. Determine whether you'll serve hors d'oeuvres, small plates, or appetizers based on your kitchen facilities, space, and city food service regulations. Determine whether you want to provide live entertainment and work with a booking agent, or whether you want to contact performers on your own to conduct auditions. When possible, include new acts to support emerging talent. Consider having karaoke and open mic nights during the week to entertain guests for free and save the cost of professional entertainment for weekends. Step 5. Market your company. Make a big deal out of your grand opening by advertising on radio, television, and in print. Create a website and blog for your lounge, as well as a calendar of events for musical features and special events. Make time in your schedule to maintain a blog or hire a professional blogger to do so on a regular basis. Focus on social media as well, as 65% of adults now use social media. This is a simple, inexpensive, and effective method of self-promotion. However, try concentrating your efforts on just one or two social media platforms that you enjoy by posting entertaining and interactive content. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a lounge bar business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.